You know, the world of video is incredible. It's changing fast and we're seeing it being accepted now. Matter of fact, if you are a thought leader, you're a speaker or a coach, you definitely know you want to use video. You need to use this. It's something that's there. And we need to find out the areas way beyond just the lighting you need, the audio and all those. Those are important, extraordinarily important. But even more important are some of the nuances that can give you a competitive advantage. And that's what we're going to do today because we have a guest joining us who knows about this. Her name is Carolyn Strauss, and she is joining us now from her offices there in Denver, Colorado. Carolyn, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for doing this again, Terry. Our first one, which was three years ago, was so great. And I got such great comments from it that when you and I were talking recently, and we said, let's do this again. So here we are. So we're doing it again because those of you that haven't seen that yet, you want to go and take a look at it. We talked about how to sell because this lady knows what she's talking about. And by the way, those of you that have seen it, you might want to go back and watch it again. We're going to make the link available to you there so you can see that. But what Carolyn's done, her background is she worked for over 18 years with HSN. Yes, that's the Home Shopping Network that home shopping network where she sold, get this, over $160 million worth of clothing. She knows how to do this on video. So what better person to help us on how to sell and how to do it right. And today we're going to go even deeper into some nuances that can really make or break what you're doing there. So Carol, I really appreciate, first of all, you being with us here today and getting a chance to share this. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, everybody's using video for everything. And the mistakes that I see make me crazy. They're silly. They're easily fixed things. For example, Terry, I watched a video that you did recently. And one of your guests, it was for the, one of the VIP suites. And one of your guests who was brilliant, had brilliant information, was wearing a baseball cap. You know who I'm talking about? Oh, he was yeah. Sitting in his space. And you couldn't see his eyes. Literally, he was wearing a baseball cap and what you saw was this. Although this wasn't well lit either. And I'm like, okay, so if it's a podcast, you can wear a baseball cap. But if you want people to connect with you, they need to see your face. Seeing face is important. And that's uh, real important. And matter of fact, as we were preparing for this show, you shared something with me that just kind of blew me away. I didn't know that it would be important. I thought it was something else. And then as you showed it to me and showed me the importance of it, I go, oh, you know, you're right. It really matters a lot. Tell us a little bit about what it is that we're talking about that you shared with me, a couple of items there yeah. that can be really important in video that might come as a surprise for those of you that have been working with video even for a while. So I want to start with something, you know, they say on average people will watch a video for a couple minutes to maybe five minutes. So I want to give you guys two key items that Terry was just talking about that can change how you appear on video. First of all, are your eyes clean, white, and bright? I mean, I know that sounds weird, but there is a new product. I don't get any money, by the way, from these product endorsements. There is a new product that I highly want to recommend. Have you guys seen Lumify? It's brand new from Bausch & Lomb. It is an eye drop that you put it in. And by the way, if you have a problem using eye drops, here's the, the way to do it that I've learned that works so great. Tilt your head sideways, look in the mirror, and drop the eye drop in on the outside edge. Did you know that, Terry? Is that how you do it? I have not done much with the eye drops, but uh, I tried it before. I think I tried it once, maybe one time, literally in my entire life I tried it. Gina was trying to help me on that. She said, do that. I tried it. It didn't work too well. I think I got it more on my face than anything. Yeah. But that sounds like it might work. Do, do it that way. Like people who have contacts can do the thing where they just look at it and drop. It doesn't work for me. So what you do is you drop from the side and you look straight ahead and you drop from the side. But while I'm doing this, can you guys see? I know this looks weird. Can you see how white my eyes are? Yes, very white. That, we can definitely see the whites of your eyes. Right. Here's the thing. When your eyes are white, this is an instinctual biological thing. You look healthy. Do you ever notice when people get sick, their eyes get either yellow or red or droopy, you know what I mean, and tired looking. So what this does is it keeps your eyes from looking tired. So that the whole point of video is to connect through the camera lens. And what people are looking at mostly are your eyes. So that's tip number one, Lumify, you can get it at Target for like $11.99. So there you Sounds go. Sounds good. Very yes. good. Okay. And what else? You were saying something else that I just thought amazing. I wouldn't have thought of that with video. And what is that product? A tooth whitener. 
I don't know how many of you guys do this, but, and I'm talking, what's great about this is these are tips for both men and women. I've seen so many men on video, their eyes are bloodshot, their teeth aren't clear. And the problem with that is you don't trust somebody. Do you ever notice all of the news anchors, their eyes are white, their teeth are white, if they're really good right all of the look at the the people on the today show and cbs this morning and and the um cnn morning people even the fox morning people right their eyes are bright and their teeth are white because we trust people who's who are clear there's all about clarity and communication that comes out by what you look like so i actually i actually have found the best tooth whitening product that doesn't make, I have really sensitive teeth. This one doesn't make my teeth sensitive and whitens them. So anytime before I'm going on stage or before I'm going on camera anywhere, I use the Intella white on my teeth and the Lumify in my eyes. Can I show you guys the yeah, link? Yeah, as a matter of fact, right? we, before we were working on that, go ahead and uh, share your screen with us. We're using Zoom for this and uh, I want to see what that is. You showed me that and it looks like it's coming up there on the screen. There it is. Talk to us about that. Check this out. So it's, I don't, again, I don't make any money from this either, but this is just a product that I love for being on video. Even though it's with HSN that we can see in the upper left-hand corner there, uh, yep. you're not getting compensated for this, although you should be, but should. Uh, tell us about that. So you go to hsn.com. I think it's the only place you can get this. The product is called IntelliWhite. So go to HSN, type in IntelliWhite. You want to get the the Platinum Turbo White Kit, because what it has is it has a toothbrush. Let me see if I can scroll down a little bit and show you guys. Yeah, it has the mouth, the tooth guard. So you put this, first of all, you use this on a toothbrush to prepare your teeth. It's like a, it's like a, a clarifying base that you clear, clear your teeth with. And then you put the mouth guard in, which fits in anybody's mouth because it's flexible, and then 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes and you paint. It's like a little paintbrush and you paint this on your teeth. Go do something for 10 minutes, take it out, wash out your mouth. And I notice every time I do this, my teeth are whiter 10 minutes later. It's not one of those ones where you have to wait a month, but what they say is 100% of the women, I know I sound like an infomercial, I can't help it, it's my background. <laughs> That's okay, you got that background. People who tried this within seven days noticed a difference in their smile. So like go it. to hsn.com. I'm going to stop sharing my screen because it's obnoxious. But um, go to hsn.com and try IntelliWhite. It is an amazing product. Absolutely. Well, thanks for sharing that because I uh, never thought that something like that would be important in video, but it makes a lot of sense that it is. So take notes on that. These are two products you can get that give you that extra advantage. Not everyone's doing that in a highly competitive world, which is where we are today with video particularly, that can give you an edge. Now, there's another thing that can give you an edge. And Carolyn, you and I talked about this beforehand. It was one of those things that uh, some people accept, oh, well, of course I've got to have this. And others in our society go, I don't want to wear that. That stuff. What could we be talking about here that's also important on video? We're talking about makeup. And look, I know a lot of people who want to go natural and you want to go on camera and just show who you really are. There's nothing wrong with that depending on what's your intention for the video. What's your branding? What do you want people to think about you because people are going to look at the video that you put out there and they're going to make a split second decision. Is this video worth more than 30 seconds of my time? If you don't look like you want, like you want to look how you want to come across, then, then they may not connect with you. This is all about connection. Look, this is like making, in the old days, we'd make a phone call to our clients. Now we're putting out a video to talk to our clients, or we would do a radio show to get the world to know who we are. Now we're putting out videos and getting the world to know us. If your brand, first of all, if you're over 40, you should probably wear a little bit of makeup because our skin gets a little the tone of our skin gets a little not, not as bright. Again, eye whitening, teeth whitening, bright skin, and a little bit of makeup can actually do that for you. And a couple of other things. 
your eyebrows, Terry and I were talking about this, right? Your eyebrows, they're there for a biological reason, which we all know, right, is to keep the sweat from dropping into our eyes. That's why our eyebrows are there. But they're also there to frame your face. Your eyebrows actually frame your face. If your eyebrows aren't showing your eyes and making your eyes looking big and, again, to capture attention, throw a little light brown powder in your eyebrow. It'll work for everybody. And then for everybody, do something on your lips. For men, get some clear lip balm. Even aquifer would work fine, which you know costs a dollar at the drugstore. And what that does is it keeps your lips from sticking to your teeth when you're speaking on video. And it also, again, opens up your smile, opens up your mouth. Yep. I think what you're saying is really important. And uh, matter of fact, I got to tell you a little story. You know, I was the uh, chief enterprise blogger for Skype for a while. Loved it. Great company, great people. And I remember we were doing a meeting in New York. I uh, went up to New York City and we were coming in from all over the world. Lots of us that were there meeting to talk about it. And there was a discussion about we could get up at a certain time in the morning. It would be early morning for some. And we could have a quick video on that. And there were some people in the room that said, oh, sure, that'd be a good idea. But there was another group of people that said, oh no, I couldn't do that early in the morning. Guess which gender it was predominantly that said, I can't do that early in the morning because I wouldn't look as good. Well, women, and I would submit to you, guys that are watching this right now, men, I'm talking to you. They're right. It's important. We've got to do this. This is video and it can give you a competitive advantage when you look better. It's, and I'm coming to you from a guy that is nowhere near uh, got it down. I'm not the guru on fashion. I'm not the guru on makeup and all that, but I do know it's important. So you need to do these kind of things. Do it. Have somebody professional talk to you. This can be a competitive advantage. And again, in today's world, things are really white hot competitive. You can get just a little bit ahead from the others. That's going to give you the advantage over others. At least that's what I'm thinking. Carolyn, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I totally agree. I also wanted you to notice, look at how we're both framed, Terry. I'm looking at this, right? You've got your green screen behind you with your map. It's yep. great. And you're right in the center. And there's about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, half inch above your head. Mm -hmm. So that's a perfect frame where you want your eyes in a video, you guys, for those of you who might not know this, and you'll notice it on all of the news anchors, your eyes should be one third down in the frame. That's where your eyes show up is a third down in the frame. Look, and I know that this sounds technical and we might not want to do it. Look, the newscasters, they get paid a ton of money to do what they do and they do it right, and a lot of us watch them for a half hour or an hour. If, if we're not, you know, if I'm, if I'm down here somewhere, which I've seen a lot of videos and people are down here, um, look what's, I mean, yes, you can see my pretty pictures in my office and stuff, but that's not, it's, that's not what this is about. And I know that we're doing talking heads right now, and talking heads are kind of going out of fashion. They're going into fashion when you're trying to communicate information, but it's going out of fashion in terms of just shooting a video like this, which is why there are two of us and two talking heads, which creates that news interview kind of look. Yeah, a little more energy there. Now, another thing that uh, I would think about, you'll see what I've got, and you'll notice, by the way, cleverly, do you notice I happen to have my website there that sometimes, Carolyn, people might be seated over here. Yep. So that then in the post-production or maybe if you're doing it live with someone, up comes the graphics over here. So something like that could be appropriate as well. Being in the center predominantly, and that's where you might want to use some of the automatic features on your computer or on the editing the device you're doing, where it can get you like this, but then it automatically shifts you over here so that you can bring up a graphic when you're talking about oodly boodlies, pictures of oodly boodlies come up. And you ought to see the oodly boodlies today. You know, they're right there on the screen and doing that. So that would be something to consider as well. Yeah, I need a producer to help me with that stuff because I'm, I'm, I am, I consider myself the on-camera talent. I am the on-stage talent. I am the on-camera talent. I am not an editor. I am not a, a video editing person. Like I would love to come over here and have some fabulous video that I shot in, you know, in Israel last year or something, show up and show you a little piece of that. That's not my area of expertise. My area of expertise is to help you get ready to look great on camera. And here's another thing. 
don't go on camera if you wouldn't go on stage that way. Good rule of thumb. I like that. And matter of fact, those of you that are watching this, think about what we're hearing. You're hearing this from the lady who sold over $160 million worth of merchandise with HSN. Carolyn, correct me if I'm wrong on this. They're sitting there and they're watching everything that's happening because they need to sell. This is business. And if there was something that I did that it was kind of goofy or my shirt was wrong or something looked goofy, they'd say, Terry, 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 you got to change that. And the reason wouldn't be because they're into fashion. No, this is money. And this is business. And that's where we see it with news anchors. There's a reason why they have to do that. And so we're moving to another level of seriousness when we're in video. Doing it right is the right thing. Now, there's a way to do this also sometimes when you can be more casual. And that kind of leads to the next topic I want to talk about here. And to kind of close down things. Come, there's a time to be kind of more appropriate. You know, I've got my green screen here. We're all set up. We can make sure everything's looking good. Our microphones are working well. Our video and the lighting, we try to get that just right. There's also a place, it seems like, for more casual. I'm just going to pop my smartphone maybe on a selfie and walk. It's done in the right way, though, but I'm going to go somewhere. I'm out on. I'm out here in the middle of oodly-oodly, and in oodly-oodly, I'm going to do this and shoot my camera right here and hold it. There's a place for that as well, and I There's think that we have to to be ready for both. What are your thoughts? There's a place for that, Terry, but here's my question. Why? Why are you doing it? Do That's not shoot something just because it's like, oh, I shoot something every day. It's Thursday. I have nothing to say, so I'm going to take people outside and we're going to go for a walk around my neighborhood. But why? What is the point? Do not waste people's time with your video unless it serves a purpose. I, I really, really like that. I, I just, I, I don't want to watch something that doesn't have a, here's the why. So today, the intention here was to give you guys something that you might not have heard right off the beginning, which is whiten your eyes and whiten your teeth before you do any kind of video, walking around video or being at home. But more important than that, you want to talk, you want to think before you shoot. What do you want to say and why and for whom? Who benefits from the time that they're about to spend? And tell them that. Put right in the description of the video. This is for, like for example, I shot a video. I was at Mile High Stadium the other day in an empty football stadium. John Elway happened to be over my shoulder, but I was in like this very cool football stadium. So I was like, okay, I have this incredible background what can I use it for? And I have a new program about effective execution. And one of the things I talk about, the first thing I talk about is as a leader, you want to create space and clarity for yourself to figure out why, what you want your people to do and why you're asking them to do it. So I used that empty space to anchor the concept of why do you are you creating space for what, who, and why you want to get done in your business? So Very you important. Look at your surroundings and pick the ones that, that matter to the people you're talking to. It's got to matter. Yeah, absolutely. I think being contextually sensitive to what you want to do, why you're doing it, sometimes it really is casual. More often than not, it's a little bit more comfortable and professional. Think of it kind of like business casual dress. There's a reason why you dress a certain way there versus when it would just be uh, wearing flip-flops and cutoffs. You know, That's exactly. When, I used, to, when I used to do fashion consulting for department stores all over the country, we used to talk the difference. There's a difference between there's a difference between casual and sloppy. There's a difference between impromptu and for no reason at all. You can be impromptu, but there's got to be a reason. Uh, those are really good words of wisdom. Well, Carolyn, you have helped us a lot there, but uh, we'd like to find out. I know there's people saying, hey, I need to know more about this. And they want to tap into the great knowledge that you have on your videos. And you do a lot of speaking professionally. You've been a professional speaker for many years now. How can someone get in touch with you and tap into that knowledge and wisdom you have? Well, my website my name is Carolyn Strauss, and my website is Carolyn Strauss, C A R O L Y N S T R A U S S dot com. And also for fun, like we all, we're all multifaceted. One of the things that I'm very excited about lately is I have been doing a comedy audio show. 
or for those of you who aren't familiar with that term, it's a podcast. But it's a comedy audio show with two partners, Dale Irvin and Tim Slagle, called Another Day Above Ground. You can go to anotherdayaboveground.com. It's, well, I'm having so much fun with it. Terry was a guest on our yeah. show about a month ago talking about technology. It's the podcast for, by, and about baby boomers. Basically, the podcast for people who don't know how to download a podcast. So Terry came on and talked all about technology, and he was absolutely brilliant. But if you want to have some fun, go to anotherdayaboveground.com and, and check us out. You can listen to us in your car, and you don't have to watch us. There you go. It can be done both ways there. It's wonderful. Well, Carolyn, you are a wealth of information. We really appreciate what you're saying. Thanks so much for being with us today. My pleasure. And for those of you watching this, think about what you've just heard. These are the tips that you can use to get ahead. This is what you can use if you want to get that competitive advantage. You want to make your videos look much better so that you come across in the best way that you want to. Go back over this. Look at those items that Carolyn mentioned. Look into some of those. Part with a few coins. Get some of the teeth whitener, some of the eye whitener. Those kind of things can be helpful to you. Look into it. I'm Terry Brock. I thank you for being here with us today wish you the very best in the video work and the business work that you do.